People of Manipur are completely in shock. People of Manipur is now very angry. And people of Manipur feels that the government of India has failed the people of Manipur. This is really unfortunate and the people of Manipur is now going desperate and as you can see that several sections of the society has now taken <coughs> action at their own hand. Kokomi representing the entire people of Manipur has now declared to stay an indefinite sit-in protest in the center of Imakaichal until and unless our set of demands has been delivered or met by the government of India and the government of Manipur. Within 24 hours, the government of India and government of Manipur should prepare to take stringent military action against Chin Kuki narco terrorist groups who are in suspension of operation with the government of India. The crime or the atrocities or the brutality they have committed has crossed the limit of humanity. We are setting a 24 hours deadline and the government of Manipur and the government of India must take stringent action against the, those armed militant groups. Since the, out, since the report of uh, the missing innocent lives found dead in the Jiri River, came in Manipur, people of Manipur are completely in shock. People of Manipur is now very angry and people of Manipur feels that the government of India has failed the people of Manipur. The constitution of India has also failed the people of Manipur. They couldn't guarantee the security of its citizen. They couldn't guarantee the life of eight months old infant child. They couldn't guarantee the lives of two and a half years old children. They couldn't guarantee the lives of innocent women and ladies. And this is really unfortunate and the people of Manipur is now going desperate. And as you can see that several sections of the society has now taken <coughs> action at their own hand. They have committed so many, you know, violent agitations in different parts of the state. And along this side, Kokomi, representing the entire people of Manipur, has now declared to stay an indefinite sit-in protest in the center of Imakaichal until and unless our set of demands has been delivered or met by the government of India and the government of Manipur. Our first set of demand is, within 24 hours, the government of India and government of Manipur should prepare to take stringent military action against Chin Kuki narco terrorist groups who are in suspension of operation with the government of India. The crime or the atrocities or the brutality they have committed has crossed the limit of humanity. They have abandoned such an innocent child in front of broad daylight and this cannot be tolerated and if the government of India over the past four and five four to five days people have been appealing requesting to use all their to rescue innocent however there isn't any response and now the dead bodies of those innocent lives have been found therefore 
people of Manipur has now feel that the government of India has abandoned the people of Manipur at their own risk. Therefore, we are setting a 24 hours deadline and the government of Manipur and the government of India must take stringent action against the those armed militant groups. Above that, all the MLAs, all the legislators of the state should sit together and take their decision up to the satisfaction of the people of Manipur and resolve it with the government of India to take immediate action to resolve the 18 months long crisis in the state of Manipur. Above all this, what more shocking in the conduct of the government of India is that the government of India couldn't do anything when the armed cookie militants indiscriminately killed lady farmers while they are working in the field. They couldn't do anything when the villagers of uh, Metes in the fringe and periphery area has been attacked again from the reason of reason where Armed Forces Special Powers Act is already in place. And despite all those situations, despite taking any stringent actions to those perpetrators, they are now again imposing, reimposing Armed Forces Special Powers Act in a non-hostile area where there is no cases or incident of central forces, state forces being threatened by armed village volunteers or anybody. So we, 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 we feel that the government of India is discreetly or indirectly morally encouraging the attacks carried out by armed cookie militants and they are trying to control and contain only the defense village defense forces from the side of the Meite. This is really unfortunate and this reimposition of Armed Forces Special Powers Act in six police stations again unilaterally by the central government should be withdrawn, should be rolled back within a set of time. If they don't do that, the government of Manipur and the government of India is going to have a very serious reaction from the people of Manipur. For now, we are only shutting down central government offices in the state of Manipur as per the people's demand. But in due course of time, if they don't act as per the wishes of the people of Manipur, then we are going to intensify our agitations, our movement, and we are not going to go back home. We are going to sit here as, until and unless some visible actions has been taken up by the government of India and government of Manipur. Okay. One more thing. Last section of the public has taken...